From the fast action of the trading pit to the power brokers making the headlines, you'll hear it all on the Traders Network Show with your host, Michael Yorba. All right. Michael interviews the front page titans about the latest in trading tools and market trends in stocks, commodities, bonds, forex, and derivatives. The Traders Network helps you stay ahead of the curve and delivers tomorrow's trade today. Now, here's your host, Michael Yorba. Welcome back to the Traders Network. I'm Michael Yorba, your host. Thanks for joining us. Broadcasting to you live from the Dallas KFXR 1190 AM iHeart Media Studios and worldwide through yorbamedia.com. All right, my first guest is a world renowned producer of children's entertainment. He's got awards all over the place for many, many, many years. Andy Hayward, CEO, Genius Brand International. Andy, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Good morning. All right, thank you. It's uh, you know, it's my pleasure to have somebody with so many accolades to uh, to your credit uh, of what you've done for children, their entertainment, and their education. Let me do it justice by giving you the chance to to just bring out some of the highlights of these of this great career you've had in this industry. Well, you're very kind. Thank you for those kind words. Uh, I've been making children's animated cartoons for thirty years. They go back to Scooby-Doo, the Smurfs, all of the Hanna-Barbera cartoons, which I was a writer, story editor, and producer on, Huckleberry Hound, Yogi Bear, uh, Flintstones, Jetsons, all of those. Uh, started my own company after I left Hanna-Barbera, and over the years produced 5,000 half-hours of children's animated cartoons for television worldwide. They range from Inspector Gadget, Ghostbusters, Dennis the Menace, Heathcliff, Super Mario Brothers, Sonic the Hedgehog, Carmen San Diego, Strawberry Shortcake, Care Bears, Alvin and the Chipmunks, Hello Kitty, and uh, many others. The list goes on. Uh, produced them for all of the various networks. Produced them for all of the various advertisers in the children's industry, up and down the kids' food chain, from the cereal companies, the toy companies, consumer electronics, etc. And over the years, have won uh, Emmys and Cable Ace Awards, Humanitas Awards, etc. Sold my company in 1993 to Walt Disney. Uh, stayed on to manage the company for the Walt Disney Company until 2000. Then I really yearned to return to a more entrepreneurial environment. And with Bain Capital, bought the company back from Disney, took it public, and managed it as a public company until 2008. In 2008. I started a, uh, after a short period of non-compete, uh, when I sold the company, I, uh, in 2010, excuse me, two years of non-compete, I started a new company whose focus was on how kids receive media today digitally. And I did this with my wife. We worked together. My wife is a very accomplished executive in the kids and entertainment business herself. She uh, was part of the original team which launched the Disney Cruise Lines. She worked for Disney for many years as a marketing and branding exec. Uh, subsequent to that, she worked for McDonald's as director of global marketing. Every happy meal, everything around the world went through her desk. And uh, we felt it was very important to not only deliver to kids content as they consume it today digitally, but also to, con to deliver content with a purpose. And by that, I mean content that has some enrichment to it as well. Uh, we had done enough of Alvin and the Chipmunks and all of that stuff. We wanted to do things that we felt were more than just entertainment. Of course, entertaining is key, but you have to have a value in there as well that we felt would be bringing the kids something that they would take away. So the first thing we did is we went to Warren Buffett, and we proposed to him creating a series for kids that would promote financial literacy. And Warren loved that idea, and we developed it together with Warren. He wrote a curriculum for the show, and he plays himself in animation, does his own voices, looks at every script and gives notes on every one. And uh, with a group of kids, he is a mentor who they have adventures in business. Fun stories, of course, with comedy and conflict and crisis and jeopardy and stakes and all the tools of good storytelling. But uh, at the same time, uh, the kids learn lessons. 
It's not about uh, learning how to read a balance sheet, uh, but more valuable lessons that will lead one to success in life. What do you call that? It's called the Secret Millionaires Club. Uh, and uh, we have a whole line of products that will be coming out based on that, uh, working very closely with a major retailer that will be out in the, in the spring, books, videos, uh, games, and whatnot. Uh, so that's one of our brands. Then uh, we work very closely with Stan Lee, the famous creator of superheroes for Marvel, really the iconic creator of superheroes. Stan Lee created Spider-Man, X-Men, Iron Man, The Avengers, The Incredible Hulk. And we went to Stan and we said, uh, uh, today the superheroes that you see, they're very dark, they're very violent, there's a lot of pathos in them, and it's troubling. If you're a parent, you don't want your kid you know, sitting in a movie theater watching some of these things that are being made or on television today. They're, they're very frightening and traumatic for kids. And Stan agreed, and we created a joint venture together in our company called Stan Lee Comics. And the purpose of Stan Lee Comics was to create a new world of superheroes for kids with fun and adventure and action, but not with imitatable violence, not with dark themes, not with frightful uh, uh, storytelling in them, and uh, emphasize comedy as well. One of our upcoming uh, uh, projects we're doing with Stan is called Superhero High. And it's a high school where kids go and learn how to become superheroes. And we infuse in the dramas and the adventures uh, lessons in uh, healthy habits, eating, exercise, nutrition, and all of that kind of stuff. So there's a lot of positivity, and that's where we uh, are going in terms of content, in terms of uh, distribution. We're very focused on how kids consume media today. The days of Saturday morning television, per se, are long gone. Kids uh, grow up uh, at a very young age with a smartphone in their hands and knowing uh, everything that you need to know about computers and whatnot, and game platforms. They're used to having their content when they want it. The idea of turning on NBC at 9 o'clock for Smurfs on Saturday is alien to them. Uh, that just doesn't exist. So uh, uh, we are developing and producing our content for all of the various platforms that are out there today where kids consume. That means for Netflix, for Amazon, for Hulu, for the networks as well, because they still do that, but they, can, they do it in different ways and on digital uh, platforms as well. We produce for public television. We have a wonderful series coming for public television this fall called Thomas Edison's Secret Lab, and it's all about promoting science for kids. And uh, uh, it'll be on public television. It'll be on uh, Netflix. It'll be on home entertainment. And it'll be on a channel of ours that we just uh, uh, did a deal with Comcast to have our own channel. It'll be called the Kid Genius Cartoon Channel, and it goes on on the air starting in September. And it'll be the our, all of our shows will be there as well. Wow! Wow! That is that is going to change the face of how how children interact and get some morality and some education in their entertainment. Good job. Well. We think it's it's very important. Kids spend hours and hours and hours in front of a screen, and it's not just a TV screen. It's a screen in the car when they're on the their uh, smartphones. It's you know the game platforms that they're constantly playing, and rather than just uh, filling their heads with empty calories, we feel it's really important that we use these times to entertain and to enrich them as well. How how taking all of that in in, in uh in concept at and practice, how do you do you jump through the hurdles that you have to jump through to compete with some of the studios out there like Disney and Cartoon Network? There's got to be some well, intricacies. It's a very good question, and uh, the answer is uh, we learned from Warren Buffett that every business needs a moat, and our moat is what we call content with a purpose. So when you are looking at the very uh, many choices that are available for kids out there, whether it's Disney Channel or Cartoon Network, as you cite, or Nickelodeon or whatever, the one thing that will distinguish us from our competitors is that everything we do has a purpose. 
and the parents will know that as well as the kids, not in that in those terms for the kids, but they'll know that they're getting something more than just a fun story. They're going to get a story and for example, at the end of every episode of Thomas Edison's Secret Lab, we have a 90-second music video, which is a song that will underscore the lesson in that particular episode. If the episode was about gravity or it was something about space or about uh, microorganisms or whatever it is, we have a really fun, cool music video starring two of the characters in our show, uh, Von Bolt, which is a robot, and Von Bite, which is a little robot. And these will be something like uh, Schoolhouse Rock, if you remember those. We think that they will have a tremendous impact. The music is being done by a multi-Grammy winner, uh, Ron Fair, who is a legend and a hugely successful music producer, has produced many of the top groups uh, and, and artists out there today. And he has four kids under six years old, and he's very focused on doing something with a positive impact uh, for for kids. So they'll be it'll be distinguished by the way it's presented uh, on the uh, interface on the channel. Everywhere else you see it, where we interact with our consumers. For example, we have a brand for toddlers called Baby Genius, and this will be uh, coming into the marketplace on. In uh, in the fall, we'll be launching a whole array of products for kids, uh, for young kids, of course, uh, with uh, Amazon. And uh, again, it'll be under the Genius brand, and everything in the Genius brand will have some positivity to it. This particular product, Baby Genius, is going to be keyed. It's music and videos. And the products that come out of it as well, whether they're, they're sippy cups or plush toys or whatever, are going to be keyed to developmental stages of kids. We've worked very closely with uh, prominent educators and child development experts. Uh, Don Roberts, the former chair of the School of Communications at Stanford, has been very active and hands-on in Andy. providing us with the uh, steps that we need to have uh, to key our products. Andy? So normally, if you see toys Andy? Uh, for Andy? kids... Andy? We, yes. we need to take we need uh, you've had me at the edge of my seat but we need to take a commercial break right now can we can we come back on the other break and continue where we left off absolutely forgive me oh no problem andy hayward ceo genius brands international will be right back Hi, I'm Rodney Anderson, inviting you to tune into my daily radio show from 11 a.m. to noon on Talk Radio 1190 a.m. Listen in for sound financial advice, and I'll answer all your money questions and more Monday through Friday at 11 a.m. on Talk Radio 1190. I'm Dr. James, founder of Diamond Physicians, a concierge medicine practice located in Dallas, Texas. Our Diamond 360 Advanced Physical Exam has been created for people like you, will live a high-stress, fast-paced life. Every 40 seconds, someone in the U.S. experiences a life-changing heart attack or debilitating stroke. Negative stress tests and normal cholesterol levels do not exclude you. Half of all fatal heart attacks occur without warning. Diamond goes beyond traditional medicine with the Diamond 360 Advanced Physical Exam, proven to prevent heart attacks, strokes, and diabetes. Contact Diamond now at 214-395-3491. That's 214 214- 395-3491 or visit our website at diamondphysicians.com to take the diamond challenge if your diamond 360 reveals perfect health receive a full refund your loved ones will thank you are you a man living with prostate enlargement urinating more often waking up to use the bathroom a drop in intimacy call us now and we'll send you a free bottle of super beta prostate it's guaranteed to reduce urges to urinate and support intimacy it's free. Just pay shipping and handling. Just call 1-800-458-7435. For prostate problems, men trust Super Beta Prostate. It's one of the few products that I've taken that does what it says it's going to do, and Super Beta Prostate is real. I remember after I started taking it, I had my first full night of sleep. I sleep better at night. I, I don't have to get up all night long like I used to, and you know my, my girlfriend really enjoys it too, so it's just Leave it at that, I guess. <laughs> Get your free bottle of Super Beta Prostate before this offer is gone forever. 
Just call 1-800-458-7435. That's 1-800-458-7435. 1-800-458-7435. Guys, if you've been using or wanting to try Viagra but are worried about the costs, we have great news. Now you can finally get real results at huge discounts with our Healthy Men alternative to the little blue pill. Why pay U.S. pharmacy prices of $15 per pill or more when you can get results for a fraction of the price? Call today and get 40 40 pills for only $99. Others cost as much as $600 at your local pharmacy. You can't afford not to call us if you want real results at the lowest prices. Never pay $15 a pill for Viagra when you can get real results for less than $3 per pill. Call 800-539-8159 today and save over $500. You can have those breathtaking toe-curling moments again and again. Healthy Man is fast, easy, and affordable. Call right now and we'll rush you your supply delivered discreetly to your door. Just call 800-539-8159. That's 800-539-8159. Again, 800-539-8159. BTJ Consulting was founded specifically to consult with accredited investors on how best to manage their oil and gas investments. The emphasis is not only on direct participation in drilling projects, but includes opportunities in the purchasing of oil rigs, service and equipment companies, real estate, and or the purchase of royalty interest through lease pooling. This strategy further mitigates risk and spreads their clients' investments over the entire sector whenever possible. For more information, call 469-518-5008 or info at btjconsulting.com. 469-518-5008 or info at btjconsulting.com. That's 469-518-5008 or info at btjconsulting.com and tell them Yorva sent you. Welcome back to the Traders Network. I'm Michael Yorva, your host, broadcasting to you live on the 1190 AM iHeart Media Studios and worldwide through yorvamedia.com. I'm joined on the show with Andy Hayward, CEO, Genius Brands International. Andy, welcome back to the show. Thank you very much. All right, thank you. Now, you were talking to us about all of the brands that you're bringing out, the the focus here and the drive of the company. If, if you don't mind, I'd like to, to just turn a little bit to the right, talk about two things uh, right up front. Number one, how the company makes money and what the outlook is for the next 18 months. But before we get to that, you have a who's who uh, on your board of directors. And, and to give the, the audience a full flavor uh, of not only what you and your wife bring to the table, but what that board of directors brings to the table. Can you can you give the audience, a, 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 you know, a, just a little little checklist of who these people are? Well, uh, yes, and by way of background, I should say that we took over uh, a small public company, uh, Genius Brands, uh, a year ago, a little over a year ago, a year and three months, and the we felt it was important to have a strong board, a board that could advise the company, uh, not be a rubber stamp for management really be able to bring us skills and uh, expertise that we didn't have inside and uh, that would be respected and help us uh, uh, move forward and grow. So we went to recruit a number of, uh, of uh, prominent people. Uh, on our board, we have Gray Davis, the former governor of California. We have Clark Halloran, who is the managing director of the entertainment group of J.P. Morgan for the last 20 years. We have Tony Demopoulos, former president of ABC Entertainment. We have Lynn Siegel, publisher of The Hollywood Reporter and a prominent uh, publishing entertainment executive. Uh, we have had uh, just recently join us Margaret Lesh, who has been a president of a number of kids' networks and a very, very well-regarded executive in the children's entertainment industry. Uh, she was head of NBC Kids in the golden days of NBC Kids. She subsequently was president of Marvel Entertainment. Uh, subsequent to that, she launched the Hallmark Channel, and subsequent to that, Fox Kids Network. She launched a, a very successful brands ranging from Power Rangers to going back to, to Muppet Babies. She's an Emmy-winning producer and uh, really a very, as I said, highly regarded executive. 
So with, uh, with this group, we have uh, Amy and myself, and we have uh, committees that uh, are standing committees that didn't exist before. We have an audit committee. We have a compensation committee. We have a nominating committee. The directors uh, function autonomously, and we're very fortunate to have such a, such a group of directors. Actually, I have to share with you, I went uh, to Warren Buffett, who was the first person, and asked him if he would be a director on, uh, uh, of our company. And he told me he had recently retired from the Coca-Cola board, and he's not doing boards anymore. But I uh, pointed out that uh, uh, we have something better, which is uh, we can call him at any time. Uh, we need some advice or uh, something, uh, ideas that we want to run by him. Yeah, that is that is a well-rounded group that's going to assure success. You also eliminated all institutional debt from the previous company, so you're starting out with a clean slate pretty much. Right? Yeah, the, the previous company that we merged into uh, had a lot of debt. It had a lot of issues going on, and we really uh, wanted to clean up the balance sheet, change the model, uh, which we didn't feel was an effective model at all for uh, long-term growth. And today we have uh, uh, we have no debt in the company. We have cash. We have receivables, good receivables. We wrote down all of the old receivables from the previous company, which we didn't feel were uh, uh, collectible or quality credits. Uh, we have no litigation. We have a clean balance sheet across the board. Now you're also looking forward to picking up new content that does, you know meets the standards of what your what your priorities and your goals are, right? Yeah, we we develop content internally, and we uh, pick up content uh, from outside uh, sources when we see it. Uh, we just acquired a property called Llama Llama, which you may be familiar with. It's probably the number one selling children's publishing product. It's a series of ten books. They've sold over uh, over ten million copies. Uh, it's constantly on the New York Times children's bestseller list. And uh, it's a delightful uh, series of preschool stories, uh, coming-of-age stories for, for young kids. All right. Now, let's, and, uh, go ahead. we're going to be turning that into uh, entertainment and mm -hmm. consumer products. All right. Uh, what is the outlook for the next 18 months? And, and, and also, what are you most excited about for 2015? The outlook is very exciting and positive. Uh, we have today about 10 properties inside the company. When we took over the company, there was one. Today we have 10. They're, it's a very diversified group. Uh, a businessman uh, such as yourself and, uh, and, and businessmen and women such as uh, your, your listeners, if you have a portfolio, you want to have it diversified. We have some of our properties uh, in our portfolio that are in all different areas. Some are for boys, some are for girls, some are for young toddlers, some are for tweens, some are comedy, some are adventure. They don't compete against each other. They don't cannibalize each other. Uh, they sit on different shelves in the retail. They sit in different time periods and venues on, uh, on media. Our model is really a, a very simple model. It is create intellectual property for children put that intellectual property out in media where kids will see it and develop an appetite for all of the aspects of that property and then license it onto consumer products. So if we were to talk about Thomas Edison's Secret Lab or the Secret Millionaires Club with Warren Buffett or Baby Genius or any of the superheroes we're developing with uh, uh, Stan Lee, we put them on television. We, we license our products to the likes of Netflix and, 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 and Discovery TV and public television and whatnot. The kids watch them. They become familiar with the characters. They understand how you play those things. And then the products appear at retail. There are toys, video games, plush, electronics, children's sleepwear, apparel, publishing, music, backpacks, party goods, stationery pretty much anything in the universe of a child. But the important thing for us is that all of these products have some enrichment for the kids, whether they're toddlers or whether they're older kids. If it's the Secret Millionaires Club, they're going to learn lessons about business and financial literacy. 
doesn't matter if it's their first lemonade stand or uh, garage sale or dog walking business or whatever it is, they're going to walk away with something significant there. In the case of Thomas Edison's Secret Lab, the products that are being put together are going to promote science learning, whether they're uh, science kits or whether they're fun compounds that the kids will have or robots and how to build their robots. So there's a lot of enrichment that comes alongside the fun. So the model is a very simple one. As I said, we create our product, our IP, we license our IP to uh, broadcasters and digital users, then we license our IP to consumer products manufacturers, whether they're toy companies, video game companies, publishers, apparel makers, or whoever. Right. Now, there's... Now, look, the outlook for the next 18 months is extremely positive. We have the content now produced and in the works. It's coming to market. It's going on the air. And we have licensees across all categories for our various brands right now. Uh, there are Tiffany licensees. There are licensees in key categories such as toys, video games, electronics, apparel, and music, and publishing. And we have engagement with our retail partners, whether that's Barnes & Noble or Target or Amazon. Uh, we're pretty much everywhere. And all of this will be hitting the marketplace this fourth quarter. So we're very excited about where we're going, and we're very excited about the uh, <clears throat> the lineup of, of uh, products coming into the market for the future as well. We have a robust pipeline. We see a great deal of product. We see things that come to us from the publishing community, from the video game community, the toy community, the Hollywood talent community, uh, and uh, uh, we see a great deal of stuff because there's a very limited number of outlets available for creators and owners of intellectual property for kids. Andy, we've, we've got to close the, the interview now, but before we go, you, you have a stock symbol for Genius Brands. Let's get that out. The stock symbol is G-N-U-S. All right, G-N-U-S. All right, Andrew, thank you so much for being on the show. I hope to see you again. My pleasure. Thank you. My pleasure. Andy Hayward, CEO, Genius Brand, G-N-U-S stock symbol. Coming up next is Robert Kusian, CEO, Biosculpture Technology. We'll be right back. 